Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, class. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Thank you. I'm really sorry about the little delay I had. I had a problem with with um, Zoom. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I could hear you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Hi. Wow, I see new faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> I think we're all in now. It's a, it's a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, me too. <laughs> Thank you, me too. But this is the first time I, I was see very, you. Uh, I was very worried because I couldn't in getting. <laughs> yeah, oh, me too. Yeah, I, 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 had, I had problems. <laughs> yeah. but to I have, I have found. Yes, it, it was very difficult to get in. <laughs> Yes. All right. Okay, class. So welcome. Hi, my name is David. 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 Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher David. There nice you go. My name is David Baltrons. I will be your teacher today. I think it's the first time I see many of you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yep. good. Okay. Okay, look, let me, let me talk to you about expectations about the class, okay? Deme un minuto, les voy a hablar algo en español. Right. Okay, eh, para, se llama las expectativas. Los voy a, eh, de mi parte, esperen de mí que los voy a corregir en el momento. ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque a veces eh, una hora la clase es grande y después, oh, ahí lo va a corregir, después se nos olvida. Y es bueno corregirlo en el momento porque ahí es donde uno está, está caliente el, el tema. Y es bueno pues corregir el, el, el error porque, o número dos, no tengan miedo en corregirse porque es lo lógico, se tienen que equivocar si no, no estuvieran en este, en este nivel, obviamente. Eh, si tienen cámaras, por favor, pónganlas porque tenemos muchos problemas con Insafor. De que si se dan cuenta, nosotros no pasamos asistencia. Insafor la pasa con ver, con ver fotos o fotos o algo. Y porque se han dado casos de que no sé cómo, pero ahí ya se han dado cuenta que mucha gente solo pone una foto y nos o dejan como la clase secundaria, ¿me entienden? Quizás se ponen a ver el teléfono, o ver tele, o chat, no sé qué, y, y la clase de fondo. Y a veces es la gente que más reclama al final. Porque se han dado cuenta que la gente que más reclama al final, cuando ven videos, nunca se ven ellos en la, en la clase. Entonces es bien difícil saber si estaban interactuando o no. Y de hecho nos piden a nosotros que... Cuando participemos es con la gente que está activa eh, en, la en, en la pantalla. Y tiene lógica, pues, porque se ve que tienen el interés, ¿me entienden? Y eso, eh, eh, hay tres cosas en inglés que son sumamente importantes, que tienen que estar niveladas. Así que una, una línea recta. 
como un ecualizador, pero nunca lo están. Son tres cosas. Una, su fluidez o su acento. Dos, su gramática. Y tres, su comprensión. Esas tres cosas son las claves de inglés. ¿Y por qué les digo eso? Oigan un ejemplo. Ustedes usted, me imagino que han estudiado inglés antes o lo estudiaron en el colegio o en la universidad o algo. Y este era el típico teacher. What is your name? Jose. Are you married? <laughs> no. Where do you live? Soy a Pango. Where do you work? En Taca, en Avianca. Do you like it? Yes. Me quedo, wow, Jose. Bueno. <laughs> ¿Quién habló más? The teacher. <laughs> Jose yeah. solo dijo. José, soy a Pango, yes, no, yes. Lo único que capté de ahí de José es que tiene buena comprensión. Porque nunca me dijo, uh, what? Repeat, I'm sorry, I don't understand, what? No, rápido me respondía. Pero si yo le digo, José, please, repeat in complete sentence. What is your name? My name is José. Are you married? Yes, I do. Where do you live? I am do living Soyapango. Where do you work? I am doing live don't work Soyapango. ¿Cuál es el problema de José? Los auxiliares. Grammar. Exactly. Grammar. Grammar. ¿Cómo supo su teacher? Por eso les pido, y yo sé que va a ser difícil, pero les pido que siempre que contesten, contesten en forma completa. Ok. Porque okay. ahí, ahí es donde yo voy a oír cuál es su, su punto débil, ¿me entienden? O sea, si va a ser la gramática, yeah. la comprehension o la fluidez. Y ahí es donde vamos a empezar a trabajar para nivelar el, la línea. ¿Ok? Y yo sé que es difícil porque en El Salvador nosotros somos sumamente araganes para hablar. De hecho, yo no, los lunes que llegan a la oficina dicen, hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? A veces ni hablamos, o decimos, ah, la casa. Imagine, la casa. <ríe> Por eso decimos, y, pero nosotros entendemos, no hice nada, me quedé en la casa, vi tele. Uh -huh. Pero, ay, y les digo porque así a veces me dicen en inglés, how was your weekend? My house. No, en inglés no funciona eso. No, entonces you have to speak complete. Nothing. I stayed in my house. I painted my house. I watch TV. Or, you know, something. Porque por eso es que después me terminan diciendo, mire, yo comprendo todo lo que me dice. A mí lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. Y es por eso. Porque somos muy pasivos y no muy activos. Pero que les repito, no es su culpa, porque este que estudiaban en el... En, y aún en día lo veo. Hoy que estábamos en, en el COVID, yo miraba a mis sobrinas que estudiaban en Guadalupano y todo eso, y oía las clases de inglés de ella, porque aquí las cuidábamos. Y, y solo mi, mi, mi sobrina daba respuestas cortas. Yes, no. Ajá. ¿Me entienden? Entonces... Por eso, o sea, no es culpa a veces no es de ustedes, es culpa del teacher que no está haciendo bien la... Pero por eso yo les pido hoy, por eso es que les digo expectativas suyas de mí, van a hacer eso. Les voy a pedir, por favor, contéstame en forma completa. ¿Por qué les pido eso? Porque quiero oír su punto débil. Es la única forma. ¿Le vieron el ejemplo que les di con José? Y todos ustedes me dieron al, al final. ¿Cuál es el problema, José? Grammar. Good, pero si yo solo me hubiera quedado con la primera fase de José, cuando solo me digo, José, soy a pango, yes, no, yes. Yo diría, no, no, él habla. Bien, me entendió todo. Bueno, sí me entendió bien, pero... That's it. Te tienen que hablar. Ok. All right. Ok, so... Back to English. So that's my expect expectations for me to you. Okay, so remember the, the cameras, please. So tell me your name, where do you live, and where do you work? So my name, for example, my name is David Baltrons. 
David Baltrons. I live in <laughs> Colonia Vista Hermosa. I don't know if you know by Paso de Jaguar. I live there and I work in the morning. I am a teacher, but in the morning I am an in interpreter. Nice. Yes, it's very interesting. I yeah. I interpret for doctors, for insurance, for everything all day. I am like it's very interesting. Very good. You, you need to study a lot in order to 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 be a, a interpreter teacher? No, not really, because you learn when you start working. That is so, my purpose. To be an interpreter? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, there is a difference. There is a difference between being an interpreter and a translator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is the difference between? What is the difference? Yeah. yeah. Good question. When you watch Netflix and you put the subtitles, yeah. subtitles yeah. do yeah. you see sometimes people say, oh, man, and in the subtitles, they say, oh, rayos. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. that's yeah. interpretation. Translation yeah. sería oh hombre. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. It's exactly yeah. the same with this translation, but what is interpretation? Yes, inter uh, you interpret what the person is trying to say or communicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So translation yeah. is like literally because that's why I don't recommend you to use subtitles when you watch movies because it's like, Teacher, but I know dijo rayos, I dijo oh hombre, yes, but that doesn't exist in Spanish. <laughs> oh hombre, you know. In Spanish is the equivalent for oh rayos. Yes, and um, yeah. it's very it, it's very strange because it's called interpretation because Latinos, oh man, we're very complicated people <laughs> when we speak with yeah. doctors. Yeah, you know, we speak yeah. we speak a lot of um, modismos, you know, like uh, yeah. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans. So a, we have different ways of speaking. So I have to interpret yeah. everything. Yeah, teacher, As, but I, I, uh, I listened that uh, depending of the area you want to work, uh, an interpretation and in translation, you need to study uh, some kind of uh, language, uh, technical, maybe. But you know what? Let me tell you one thing. Y aquí le voy a decir algo que les puede decepcionar. Technical English doesn't <laughs> exist. Technical... Oh, I mean, uh, sorry, I mean uh, technical words. Yes. Uh, for that... example, when when you want to, to translate or interpret um uh some legal terms or may some some something yes like yes that, that's a good question that's that's like what walter said because it's a difficult at the beginning it's difficult but like for example me in this moment i only work with doctors and insurance oh. so every day i hear the same thing el, el, Papa Nicolau no sabía que yo era hasta que se que now is a CAT scan, you know, que es el Papa Nicolau, resonancia magnética. Those technical words you learn. But let me tell you one thing. Imagine in this class, I have a mechanic. I have a doctor. No, but imagine, imagine I have a class and in the class I have a chef, a mechanic and a doctor. And I tell, I tell them, what are you going to do? next week uh tomorrow and then the mechanic tells me tomorrow i am going to como se dice arreglar el, el piñon de la cigüeñal <laughs> you know i don't know <laughs> yeah I, I i'm i'm the english teacher but i don't know so okay lo pongo en pausa. so then i ask oh, doctor what are you going to do oh tomorrow i am going to operate the como se dice el tindón interno Izquierdo superior, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. And then the chef tells me tomorrow I am going to make a fondue, the kututu, the mousse, no sé qué, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Yeah. 
<laughs> but if you notice, if you notice, the English part is I am going to the verb. What I don't know is the vocabulary, the, the complement. Yeah. So that is the technical part. Yes. So, for example, in my experience now that I am a, um, that I am a interpreter, imagine now I have to interpret for a lawyer. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I don't know. Oh, yes, I know. I know how to interpret. What I need to learn now is learn law terms. So I start I start with the basics. You know, termino legales. That that's all I need to study. But then the rest is everything is the same. But it's very interesting. Yeah. Well, there's a helicopter. Excuse me. Hold on. Okay, so Janeth, tell us. Uh, well, your name is Janeth. Where do you where do you live? Where do you work? Um, hi, um, my name is Janet Rodriguez. I live in San Salvador. I work in a law firm uh, science since five years, uh, but uh, I have experience um, to be secretary of lawyers, so 16 years. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you, you know law? Uh, a little. <laughs> and where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay, and you work in San Salvador? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Janet, Janita. Yeah. When you were little, did people call you like, excuse me? Se activ el micrófono está desactivado. I'm sorry, my smart speaker. I hate that. I'm sorry, my smart speaker activated. <laughs> Don't worry. No, but I desactivated now. So when you were little, did people call you Yaya? Um. Uh, for the on, on my first work, on my yeah, my first job, uh, people call me yeah yeah. Yeah yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah 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 okay good. All right, thank you. All right, Joaquin Ramirez. A pleasure. A pleasure to meet you. Hi guys, um, my name is Joaquin Ramirez, and I am a public uh, account. Um, accountant. Accountant. Uh huh. Um, and and now, or actually, I work in financial minister. Um, and I live in El Congo City, Santa Ana. All right. And you work in San Salvador? Yes. You travel every day. Every day I travel, um, in my car of stars. And so every day you have to pass Los Chorros. Yes, yes. Sometimes I go um, constitution, uh, constitution. Oh, okay. All right, nice, thank you. Rafael Dabud, did I, did I pronounce that right, Dabu? Dabu, yes, it's right. I, I, you know what, I had a friend, I remember a long time ago, but I can't remember his name, but I remember I had a very good friend, Dabu. Dabu. Really? Many years ago. He must be your family. But if I, I, I will remember because I will think now. <laughs> okay. okay. So tell us about you, Rafael. Okay. Uh, my name is Rafael Dabu. I work at Pollo Real. I am a marketer and I live in Nuevo Cuscatlan. Okay. Wow, I have not had Pollo Real in many years. I remember you, yes, the breakfast. Do you still do breakfast? Yes. Yeah, I remember those were good. The breakfast. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, I haven't gone to the restaurant physically, but I have eaten Pollo Real because sometimes a little truck passes by my house. <laughs> okay. Selling Pollo Real. They're very good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you, you live man. in Nuevo Cuscatlan, right? Yes. All right, nice. Now, uh, Miguel Antonio. Hi, uh, my name is Miguel Antonio Correa Monterrosa. I am living in, in Soyapango, Montes Cuatro, and I am working. I work uh, for a cyber cafe in a customer service. In a cyber cafe. Yep. Oh, really? Nice. And a little cyber cafe in Montes Cuatro is 
close of my home. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Nice. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So, so you don't, you don't, you don't leave Soyapango. Uh, well, I live in Soyapango in Montes Cuatro. Is, no, no, no. You don't, yeah. you don't, you don't leave, like not live, leave. Like your, 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 your routine is always around Soyapango. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Joaquin Ramirez, imagine in the Ministry of Finances in El Congo. Raul would be a very happy man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Walter, tell us about yourself. Yeah, good evening, guys. My name is Walter Ramos. I live in Santa Ana City, uh, near near uh Quiteños Stadium. Um, Quinteño Stadium, job. Quinteño yeah. Stadium still exists. Yeah, no, I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I quit my job two months ago. I was working at a, at a Banco Agricola during okay. 13, 13 years Four as third. a supervisor. You worked yeah, for 13 years as a supervisor. Yeah, yeah. Right now, um, I'm trying to find a new job in English. That is my purpose, my purpose for uh, stay here to learn and improve my English. Yeah. I would definitely recommend you a call center. Yeah, yeah, that is my purpose. Because, um, Many people say, oh, call centers are bad because they, so that the calls are back to back, but everything is relative because, okay, imagine you worked in a bank. Imagine the poor people that, you know, no son cajeras. Do you know what is the name of those people? Those caje in Spanish is cajeros, but do you know in yeah. English what, what is the name? It's not cashier. Cashier? Cashier? Yeah. No. Not, oh, no, no, it's cashier. Oh, they, are called, they are called teller, tellers. Tellers, tellers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Por eso se llama ATM, el cajero. ATM, yeah. automatic uh -huh. teller machine. Ah, uh -huh. got it, got it. <laughs> yeah. So imagine, that's what I tell people. Okay, imagine a teller in the bank and you see like 50 people. Yeah. And so, so you know, that's similar to a call center. You're in a call. Yeah. And, you know, next. Even though I... Uh, uh, I was I was working in area telemarketing, try yeah. to sell several products, financial in the, the bank. bank. Yeah, okay. Like a call center in Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you work at a call center in Spanish. Yeah. Wow. I was supervisor in this area for three years. Oh, nice. Even though uh, 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 um, sales agent, Walter, is this a myth? Mito myth. Does your bank rec? Okay, let's say you pay. Imagine I was in Dicom, and yeah. I pay and I pay Dicom everything. Yeah. But my record stays like maybe I am not in Dicom in this moment, but I was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know because you know how yeah. people people always say, no, if you pay the comb, everything erases. And I was telling my uh, brother, no, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't erase you from zero. Maybe, maybe it will show on the record he paid, but he was in the comb. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell my yeah, brother, but... don't pay. No, I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a famous decom. <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, thank you. Patricia Herrera. Hi. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Patricia Herrera. I am a doctor and I have I have two jobs. Uh, I work in a hospital and I work in my own clinic since uh, 20, 25 years. Okay, uh, which hospital do you work in? I work at the 
Hospital of the Seguro Social in Zacatecoluca Department of La Paz. Okay. And but I just... live, I, sorry, no, I sorry. Live in San Juan Manualco, okay. Department of La Paz. Excuse my ignorance, La Paz is where? <laughs> is the airport? La Paz, um, yeah, is a department of the para central zone of El Salvador. Yeah, it's not it's not very far from San Salvador. Yes, uh, driving about um, 90 kilometers per, uh, per hour, we uh, arrived to San Salvador in 50 minutes. About. Oh, nice. And where is your clinic in San Juan Manualco? No, my clinic is in Saca de Coluca. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Good. You're a doctor. Nice. Thanks. All right. Next, we have Yancy. Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Yancy. Excuse me. I'm really sorry. One second. Now I remember. Patricia, you said since 25 years. Por eso le digo, lo voy a corregir en el momento. If not, I forget. <laughs> Do you know what is the difference when to use sense for enduring? Ah, oh, yeah, sense, uh-huh. When do we use sense? When I try to, to tell um, desde cuando estoy. Yeah, we use sense when the beginning. You said 25 years is what, 1998? 25, ah. Uh, 1990, 19, 1998. Uh -huh. Wow, I'm good in math. <laughs> okay, good. So you see, listen to that. So when you say since, you say, okay, I have worked since 1998. Since. So when we use since, it's the beginning of that time. If you say for, it's the duration. So okay. I have worked for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Like Walter, he worked for 13 years, you said, in the bank. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference, sense and for. Okay, thank Is you. The, you're welcome. Okay, I'm sorry, Yancy. Go ahead, please, Yancy Vet. Okay, I am Yancy Vet Magnin Melendez. I live in Zacatecoluca, too. I know uh, Patricia Herrera. Okay. Um, and um, I am a uh, housewife, yes. How is Zacate Coluca? Is it hot? A, yes, yes, it's warm. Oh, okay. Did you have problems yesterday? No, everything was fine there? Uh, yesterday, no, for the, no, was, um, normally the, the rain, the rain? Mm -hmm. was was mm, no I don't know, I don't know. how do you say no no wasn't problem any problem yeah yeah it, who has that um yeah yeah the rain wasn't so heavy here. Okay. Uh, rain. Okay. Thank you, Jan Sivet. All right, Hello. next, Javier Martinez. Hello there. Hello, Javier. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, my name is my name is Javier Martinez. Uh, I live in Sonsonate City. My friends call me Beto. This is my, my nickname. Um, wait a minute. Why do they call you Beto if your name is Javier? <laughs> it's a nickname. <laughs> Until the, but I thought until, Beto is for Alberto or Roberto, no? Yeah, but but it's something. It's a long history. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I work in. <laughs> I like that. My name is Javier, but call me Beto. Okay. Yeah, uh, I work in Habitat for Humanity. Uh, uh, Ten years ago. Uh, mm, I'm okay. 30. Excuse me. For ten years. 14 years, yeah, yeah. 10 years Sorry. ago, that means it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 14 years? Yeah, 
uh, excuse my ignorance, what is Habitat for Humanity? Uh, it is um, a financial company that offers credits for build your house. Really? Oh. Yep. Yep. It's uh, a government. No, it's not governmental, correct? No, it's an ONG. ONG, NGO. I don't know how. NGO. NGO, right? It is an NGO. Um, I'm working uh, for nine years ago. Uh, I'm a credit analyst. Nine years ago? Yep. Or for nine for years? For nine years. For nine good. years. I have worked there for nine years. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Very, hey, very good. And I, you know, that's interesting. I never heard about that, but interesting. All right. Okay. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Sandra Araceli. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm happy to be together again. Um, I live in St. Patricia neighborhood uh, in San Salvador next to Cima Cuatro. Okay, yeah. Yes. We, we live close. Yes, we live close. Um, I, I used to work for TAC International Airlines and then for the European Union. But now uh, we are retired with my husband and we have an own enterprise uh, for, um, it, it is about personal transportation, personnel transportation. Uh, personnel or personal? Personnel. Like you transportation for companies? Of course. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, oh, interesting, mm -hmm. nice. Yes. Do you like also rent? Or like, you know, do you make trips to the beach, stuff like that? Oh, not exactly to the beach because um, I don't like beach because um, the sand is, is, is not good for me. Uh, I prefer to go to the mountains and for uh, cascades. Here in El Salvador, there are. Cascade? Waterfalls? Waterfalls, Water. yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Interesting. Nice. Thank you. Nice. All right. Hello, Blanca Montes. You are on mute. Your, your microphone. You are still on mute. I like your face. You're like, oh my God. I don't think your microphone works. You sound very distant. Okay, can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, well, my name is very big. My name is Blanca Natalia de la Trinidad Montes Verdugo. Uh -huh. Wow. And <laughs> I, I am a, I, I've been working as a teacher uh, for more than 10 years, but I am a food engineer. But right now I'm working as a, uh, as a teacher, but for all people uh, uh, working in uh, his, in developing the memory, uh, the, the memory talent because uh, when when you when you get old you 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 don't remember things so you have to practice mathematics uh, uh, Spanish uh, you have to 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 practice your your of course uh -huh. keep your mind active yeah exactly I mm -hmm. will see you maybe in two years because I am starting to forget everything well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go to the kitchen and I say, why did I come? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I forgot. Uh -huh. No, but this is, the, the, you know, the problem is uh, maybe you are not uh, uh, sleeping well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's the problem, right? Uh -huh. So you, you need to rest. Uh, but I think then... I have sleep apnea. <laughs> no, I, I, I think, yeah, because I'm, I, I, you know, sleep apnea is when you put. I have a question. You said you are a food engineer. Yes, I am a food engineer. Yes. 
I mm. never really, I'm sorry if I am ignorant, but I have never mm. heard of a food engineer. What is that? Okay. If a food engineer is like a, a, a in, industrial engineer, but only for a, fabrics of food. Wow, that's so interesting. Yes, for example, uh, factories that process cheese or meat or uh, uh, nostalgic products. I worked in a factory of nostalgic products uh -huh, for maybe one year. Uh -huh. oh. and, and, and that's the difference. That's the difference. And, and, you, ha and you have to to work, uh, we, we are focused on quality of the Yes, product. I was going to ask you, so mainly you're uh -huh. like in quality control. Yes, quality control of oh, food yeah. and, and a hygiene. That's a hygiene. cool, that's a very cool profession. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Imagine to work mm -hmm. in, a, in a company that you have to eat all day, <laughs> like to taste no. food. Well, if you are in in the developing of products, maybe maybe yes, that's your your job. But if not, you have to go in and online. I remember and, a long time ago, many many years ago, I went to teach to Petite. I forgot. I forgot that uh -huh. where they make yes. Petite. But, uh -huh. And um, oh my God, there was one woman there. That uh -huh. all she did all day was try the drinks. Drinking, drinking juice. Uh -huh. But yeah. she was uh -huh. so, so good because of many years experience. Yeah. I remember the general manager told me, watch, look. And she would close her eyes and they would serve her any, any mix, any, any drink. And any flavor. Any flavor. And sometimes they mix it. And she would oh. say apple and pear. Mass, uh, mm -hmm. more apple and she would say like the percentage mm -hmm. yeah. was, oh, wow mm -hmm. excellent work <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, so right. taster the, the name of the people the person taster yes. yeah I think she was a taster yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but well, she I, was I live... mm -hmm. uh -huh. go, go ahead please Blanca yes I live in San Salvador and near the National University, and, and I think that that's it. Where, where do you teach? Uh, particularly, mm -hmm. particularly, oh, okay. mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in English, you don't really say particularly; you say private classes. <laughs> How do? Private classes. A private classes is true. Mm -hmm. Yes, in English, you say more like, "Oh, I, mm -hmm. I, I do it privately." Yes. People understand. Right. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jacqueline, okay. Stefan. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Blanca. Yes. <laughs> I forgot Natalia. your name. Okay, Blanca mm -hmm. Natalia de la Trinidad Montes yes. Verdugo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, I, I would, I would uh, next time. I, I forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, so we now. Have to put the complete, we have to put the complete name, right? Now. Yes, now I understand why you told me your complete name to see if I remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you are practicing your profession. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, Stephanie Garcia, hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Jacqueline Garcia. I'm 24 years old, and I currently work in my own business. I sell food every day for four years. Wow, nice. And uh, where do you sell? I, I live in Armenia and I sell to here. But do you have a, do you have a place or do you do it like delivery? Delivery teacher. Wow, and you cook everything? Yes, teacher. That's so nice, that's so cool. Yes, teacher. I hear that's a very um, demanding job. Yes, heavy teacher. Because you Every have to day. cook, you have to do it, and that day yes. you have to go to prepare. the market, prepare yes, everything. Teacher. Wow, okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, but I said 
Only for delivery teacher. Okay, so only in Armenia, right? What yes, is your teacher. What is your speciality? Uh, the seafood. Ooh, My nice. speciality. Yes. Oh man, too bad is Armenia is very far. I would definitely call you tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> I want a mariscada. All right. Daniel Jeremias Martinez. Are you there? You look like Silence of the Lambs. Oh, there you are. Where's? Good evening. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, Hi. I can hear you. My name is Daniel Martinez. I have 37 years old. I reside in San Martin and I'm a graphic designer. As a, I'm, I, I have been working as a freelancer. Mm -hmm. And my specialty is illustrator. Yeah. Is that picture that you have there, did you make yeah. that? Yeah, it's my creation. It's your creation? All right, nice. What is that? Is that like a gothic emo hip? No. It no. has a lot of styles. No, it's, um, not, it's not gothic. Because I like a, a metal, music metal. You like heavy metal music? Yeah. All right. Just metal or rock and roll in general? And rock and roll. And another, you... another, another, another gender. Okay. Blues, jazz. Oh, for, yeah. Okay. So you like good music. music. Do yeah. you want? Do you want me to tell you a little something that can make you feel very jealous? Sorry. You want me to tell you something that will make you feel jealous, celoso? Listen to this. Do you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know my first rock and roll concert? Do you know who my first rock and roll? Con well, no, my second rock and roll concert. Do you know who I went to see? Okay. Do you understand my question? Well, I, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you that my second rock and roll concert. Yeah. I saw Nirvana. Oh, do you see in Nirvana? Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. nice. I always get that reaction. Oh my right. God, you saw Nirvana. Yeah. Yes, because nobody will ever do that again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm yeah. jealous. Yeah, I told you. I told you you would be jealous. <laughs> yes, I was very, very close to. In fact, I have a scar. I have oh. a scar in my eye because of my mother. In, in, in my case, I, I don't like so much Nirvana. But I'm I I love it. Uh, I love it so much. Um, Pearl Jam. Oh, me too. Uh, I I I, <laughs> I love Pearl Jam. I have one son. Por un momento le quería poner a mi hijo Heriberto. Heriberto. Yeah, really. ah, okay. But my or Eddie Vedder. <laughs> but my wife said my second no. number. My, my second name is Jeremy. Really? Jeremy. Yeah. Hey, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. When I went to see Nirvana, I was. 13 years old and I escaped from my house at night to go to the concert. So Your mom punished after that. Oh yes. Uh -huh, because she discovered <laughs> my sister told mom David is not here. So she waited for me all night and when I walked in, she threw a shoe at me. Bah. And, and I have a yeah. scar. Hey, but I saw Nirvana. So. <laughs> La llena voladora. <laughs> yes. The open zapato. Gina would have been nice. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Or, oh, I Daniel. Daniel, you said I have 37 years old. Yeah. Do you know that's not correct? Oh, okay, okay. I am 37 years old. Do you know why you say I am and no I have? Okay. Class, does anybody know how come you say I am? And no, I have. Okay, I got it. No, but does any no, but I okay. I'm. I don't only want to. Uh, I don't only want you to understand. Oh, okay. Entonces, I see. I want you to understand why. Do you know why people say I am? You know, I have. Let me, let me tell you why. Okay. Patricia, Patricia, are you 
Are you married? Yes, teacher, I am married. Okay, so listen, I am married. Um, Rafael, are you, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, I am happy. Janeth. Hello, Janeth. Janeth, are you tall or short? I'm short. Okay, so listen to this. I am married, I am happy, I am short. What does married, happy, and short have in common? Um, adjectives, adjectives. Very good, they're, they're adjectives. So every time you say I am, you say an adjective. So now listen to this. Uh, Daniel, you say I am 37 years old. There's the adjective. Okay, teacher. Yes, so that's why people say I am. Aunque soy feo, en español así es. Yo soy 37 años de viejo. <laughs> it sounds ugly, but that's how it is. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And pleasure, too. Oh, and I also have seen Def Leppard, Aero del Silencio, and many concerts. Mm. Just good songs and good band. <laughs> Just good bands, yes. Good rock. But I stopped. I stopped with Limp Bizkit and... And those ugly bands, I stopped. <laughs> I don't like uh, Limp Bizkit. No, the new new metal, I don't like. No, nah, hey. I don't like it too. Yeah. Daniela, are you there? Yep. Yeah. No, no, Daniela. I'm sorry, sorry. That's okay. Yes, I'm here. Hi, Daniela. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Daniela de la Cruz. I'm 25 years old. I live in San Marcos, San Salvador, and I'm working in Intradesa, um, Sayapango. Okay. Do you have children? No. Do you live with your parents? Uh, yes, I live with my mom and my two brothers. Okay. Do you, I'm asking you that because I see your bed. <laughs> So <laughs> <It's a hurt. laughs> th th there's only two possible reasons. One, you are single and you, live, <laughs> you still live with your parents, you know, or two, maybe you're in your daughter's room. <laughs> yes, but it's my bell. Yes. No, no, it's good. It's very girly. My, my, oh, it has hurt and pink. I bet. Yes, that's good. Me too. I, I, I like, um, well, I don't know if you can see here in the back. Oh. Um, I have devils and this is my office, but I like to, I like to have my own things in my office. So I like calaveras and devils and things like that. But every time my son comes in, he gets them and he takes them. <laughs> All right, so you work in Intradesa, Intradesa, I know. Where, where is Intradesa? I have seen Intradesa before. It's, uh, it's in Chayapango. Uh, we designed- It's in the boulevard, in right? Port. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. clothing, it's a maquila. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's why I remember. Okay, okay, nice. Thank you, Daniela. And you live in San Marcos, where? Yes. Uh, in the autopista, it's the kilometer 11. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Thank you. Wendy Goches, are you there? Yes. I'm Hello, here. Wendy. Hi, everybody. Hello. Tell us about Hello. yourself. Okay. My name is Wendy Boche Cienfuegos, and I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán, and I work in a company that found my father for 14 years ago. Now I am administrate that company by myself. Oh, really? Which co yeah. Can I ask the company? Yes, it's a printing company. Printing? 
printing and now with my husband we are opening new products like a I don't know how to use say sublimacion, bordados, all kind of product of uh, related graphics. related to graphics. Okay. Yes. Related oh, nice. Graphics. And the company is in yeah. Antiguo. No, the company is in Colonia Flor Blanca. Oh, okay. In San Salvador. That's so great when you have a company in your family because you continue. Yes. Hey, very good. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, um, okay, I'm thank sorry, you. go ahead. You were going to no. say something? Oh. <laughs> Before this work, I was working in a private company in Urbano Express for 10 years, but the change for a company with my family was heavy in the beginning, but now it's so nice. Now it's your baby. What? No, now? yes, it's my baby. It's your baby, yes. Okay. Yes, it is my baby. Yes. All right. Amir got Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Amir Alejandro. You sound like an Android. And it's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, it's a pleasure. Okay. And um, um, I live in Mexican. I ha I am I have uh, more or less. Uh, I have lived uh, all time here in in Mexican. Um, all your life, all my life, okay, all my life, and I work in a, in a bakery, and I have worked in a bakery uh, all my time too, <laughs> because uh, actually, and uh, right now I, I have uh, twenty seven years working in in the same place. In the bakery. Nice. Uh, my before job, I worked uh, previous job uh, for about uh, eleven years, more or less. And so I I think that always I have worked in in bakeries. <laughs> so yeah, you like bakery? Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, All right. Taking taking coffees and eating. Eating uh, sweet bread. <laughs> sweet bread. Okay, good. Good for you. Nice. I envy you. Okay. Ailey, okay. Michelle Carr. Is that your last name, Carr? Hello. Oh, good evening. Hello. My name is Ailey Michelle Carranza Lopez. I live in Santa Tecla. I work in a store of underwear. I don't want to say uh, ropa interior. Underwear. Okay. Huh? Underwear. But like in general, underwear or? Yes. <laughs> no, I have a question. For example, um, is it like a boutique? Yes. Oh, okay. So is it like ladies boutique only? Or? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Because if you say underwear, you know, People think of everything, you know, men, women, little children. No, it is only ladies' yeah. underwear. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a Victoria's Secret. Please tell me, it's Victoria's Secret. Please tell me. Please tell me. No, oh. it's Brie. <laughs> it's what? Brie. Brie, okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. And where's the store? In, in Santa Tecla? Yes. Oh, very good. Okay, Ailey, can you tell me something? I want to see how good you remember. Where does Patricia Herrera live? Excuse me? Where does Patricia Herrera live? Do you remember? Uh, I know I remember. Oh, okay, okay. Where does Amilcar Escobar live? He was right before you. 
Mexicano, algo así, ¿no? I need a complete answer. He, he lives. Uh, he Mexican. lives in Mexicanos. Yes, very good. All right. Wendy. Do you remember Hi. do you remember Blanca's complete name? I oh know. My God, it's a difficult. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No. no I, I don't it. remember the complete name. Does somebody remember her I remember, complete name? Yes, I remember. Yes. Danca right. Italy Montes Verdugo. Is your name? Yes. My, no, my name is David. No, okay. <laughs> Danca Italy? Yes? No. Uh -huh. Blanca Trinidad? No, Blanca, no, Blanca Trinidad. Teacher. Okay, Montes Verdugo. Yes. No, but there's still one more name. My eye teacher. Okay. okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Who? Who? Me. Okay, go, Sandra. Blanca, Blanca Natalia de la Trinidad Montes Verdugo. <laughs> is that right, Blanca? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You know, you know, now that I am an interpreter, doctors in the United States, they really hate that about Latinos. They're always complaining because in the United States, usually people only have two names. Yeah. John Smith only. And then they tell me, hello, interpreter. I would like to call, like, for example, <clears throat> Blanca Natalie de la Trinidad Verdugo. <laughs> and they always tell me, I don't understand why so many names. I only need to. Eat. And um, yes, it's, it's, but always, and like, but with all Latinos, we always have long names. Yes, it's, it's siempre se quedan ellos. Oh my God, why is your name so long? <laughs> All right, Blanca, let me see. Blanca, do you remember no. Javier? Do you remember Javier's nickname? Beto. ¿Qué le dije yo? Pero es fácil contestar with one word. No, I need a complete oh, answer. It's true. Okay, his nickname is Beto. Good. All right. <laughs> His name is Javier, but you can call him Beto. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Janet, do you remember how many years did Walter work in the supermarket? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't remember. You, but do you remember in which supermarket he worked? No, I don't remember. How much time he, he works here? In the supermarket? Yeah. Did he work in the supermarket? I think no. Me, actually. Okay, talk to me. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to tell me he didn't say he worked in the supermarket. Yeah. He said <laughs> that he worked in a bank. You see people, that, that's how you practice your English. When you, yeah, when, yeah. You, when you try to do uh, uh, a complete sentence, you know? No, eh, sí, la estaba engañando. <laughs> Dije supermarket a propósito, because quería oír si me quería... Si me, no, he, he, he did not mention supermarket. He mentioned he worked in a bank. You see, that's how you develop the complete answers. Okay. Yes. Okay, class, thank you very much. Hoy fue el primer día. Mañana empezamos con la, con, oh, con la, ¿cómo se llama? Con, oh my God. Platform. Thank you. Thank you. Blanca, I need you. Yeah, with the okay. platform. Your topic in your class. Yes. Una cosa. Yes, the platform is important, pero no es essential. Yo prefiero más que estemos más activos en la clase y vamos a hacer la, yeah. yes. No se claven mucho con la plataforma. Suele fallar bastante. <laughs> Yes. Porque a veces hay gente que a veces nos atrasamos unos días o a veces nos adelantamos, pero hay, hay mucha gente que prefiere estar al día de la plataforma. 
you know, okay, it's good, it's good, but it's more important to be active in the class and to speak and talk because that's the objective, to speak, correct? Okay, then um, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good night to you. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good to see you. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good night.